All right, so to make this effect, it's very easy actually. Let's go into our edit page under effect, effect. You'll see a fusion composition. Let's drag it in. Let's make it a little bit longer. And let's right click and open in fusion. There's going to be nothing here because we have no input. So we're going to use a background as our input. And I'll change the color to white since I want my circles to be white. And in order to make the circle, I'll use a mask like so. This will mask out this region area, right? It'll make a circle. And I don't want this to have any fill. I just want a little bit of an outline. So I'm going to do for the border width 0 0.01. I'm going to uncheck solid. And this looks good. So whenever you have these radio waves or signals or pulses, whatever you want to call them, they usually uh, grow, right? They start from nothing and they grow outward. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to our zero keyframe. We're going to start it off with our width and height at zero. And then let's say I want this to be about two seconds long. So we'll go to 120 frames and we'll make this about 0.6 and then 0.6 like so. And then eventually ripples or waves, they will fade out towards the end um, of their of their life or whatever. So at about 100 frames, right, I'll give it like a 20, 20 frame gap here. I'm going to make the I'm going to keyframe the level, which is the opacity here of the of the mask. So from 100 to 120, we're going to go from one to zero. So it's going to grow and then it's going to slowly fade out towards the end like that. And now we want this to just keep happening, right? We want it to keep sending this pulse, this wave, the signal, whatever. Uh, so there's a way to loop things. There's a way to loop animations in DaVinci. Very cool if you didn't know. If you go to spline tab here, this is our ellipse and all the keyframes associated with it. If we just highlight everything and click this button that says set loop, it'll actually loop this entire thing, right? So if we just watch it back, you'll see there's a problem, but that it's looping, right? The problem is that it keeps doing the fade in, fade out really quickly because we started our keyframe at 100 and ended it at 120. So it's just going to keep looping these 20 frames. We want the keyframes to start at zero. So we want it to kind of stay at level one at, at like full opacity. And then for these 20 frames, we want it to go down, right? So we want to just make sure that that's clear. So now if we just click loop, you'll see if we play it back, there you go, fades out and it starts again. And then it'll fade out and it starts again, right? Great. Now what we want to do is to duplicate the effect. We want it to happen um, at once, right? With like multiple ripples, right? There's usually not just one signal or wave or ripple. It's usually multiple that's happening one after the other. So in order to do this, we'll go click our background node. We want to duplicate this background node. Uh, and let's say, for example, we'll, we, how many copies do we want? We want, let's say, five, right? You don't see them because they're over each other. But if I just kind of move them, you'll see they're actually there. You just don't see them because they're like perfectly on top of each other. So the cool thing about this node is that there's a time offset. This is like how long in frames does the duplicate node wait before duplicating, before making another copy. Uh, so this is what's going to give us our effect that we want. So if our, there's a little bit of a math involved here, but if our total effect is 120 frames, and let's say we have five copies, we want to give each wave the same amount of space, right? We don't want to give, for example, if I do 10, you'll see that they're grouped up very closely, and then there's this big gap in the middle. You might want this. It's completely up to you. But if you want this to be like perfectly uh, spaced out all the way through the animation, then what you want is to divide. So you have 120 frames. This is like how long your full frame animation is. Divide that by how many copies you have. So in our case, it's going to be 120 divided by 5, which is 24. If we put 24 in here, you'll see they're evenly spaced out. And it works but but don't go don't leave yet we're not done because if you start at the first frame you'll see that it's kind of like it kind of starts as if it's already gone through some time what's happening here is it's kind of pre-calculating in advance uh, these 24 frames 
against these five copies. So it's already starting at the 100th, 20th frame or whatever. Um, and, and you don't want that. You, you want it to kind of, if I could please, yeah, you see how like the, the next frame it generates a new circle. So it's kind of already 120 frames in advance. What you want is to put negative, negative 24, so that it gives it a chance to start how it should start. And then it'll actually wait 24 frames before generating the next circle. See, we're at frame 24. If we go to frame 25, the next circle is, is being made right here, right? Like that. And now it's going to be exactly how you want. It'll just keep doing this. Um, I was actually asked this on a Reddit post by someone who saw my video. I shared it on Reddit. And he asked me how I made a certain effect. It was using this. The effect was um, sending these pulses in one direction, right? So how I did that, I'll just do a quick little follow-up in case some of you are wondering how, how to do this. Um, so I put a merge node here. The duplicate is sent to the foreground. And I put a background as the background. Turn down the opacity like this. And then I just kind of masked this, right? Uh, not, not the ellipse, sorry. I masked it with a polygon. And how I did it was I made a triangle like this. Right? And then if you kind of like play it, you'll see it, it looks as if the circle, the, the, the waves are being sent in a direction, right? So you could imagine this being put onto um, like a satellite dish, right, on top of a house. The signals are being sent up to space or however you want to create it, right? It doesn't matter what illustration you're making, but yeah, that's just an example. So if you want to have a certain direction for the waves to go, you can mask it. And uh, of course, you can change the mask to however you want. You can have it start wherever you want. I usually just do it like this, right? I usually just have it go up. Uh, from the center and then in inside the edit page if you want to change the direction you can just change the rotation angle and it'll you know it'll go however you however which way you want all right so that was it hopefully you learned something new and if you like the video and how I taught it please give it a like maybe share it with some friends who might find it interesting as well so I'll see you in my next video thanks for watching bye bye